Hello everyone, welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, we are going to talk about another problem from the International Mathematical Olympiad or IMO. This problem came from 1959 and it is the problem 3 in that competition. Here, we are going to have two equations. The first equation says we have 4 cosine of x to the power of 2 plus 2 cosine of x minus 1 is equal to 0. For the second equation, we have a cosine a squared of 2x plus b cosine of 2x plus c equals to 0. We want to have the same roots for equation number 1 and equation number 2. Based on that, we need to find values of a, b, and c. Before moving forward to talk about the solution, make sure that you pause the video to think about this problem. We will see you in about 15 seconds. Based on M and N, we can find X values that are going to satisfy the equation number one. Now we want to have the same X values for equation number two. Obviously, cosine of 2X can be calculated based on X values that we're going to have. We're going to use M and N here. And we know that cosine 2X can be written as 2 times cosine squared of x minus 1. So if m and n are roots, then cosine of 2x can be written as 2 times n squared minus 1 and 2 times n squared minus 1. To solve this problem, let's review the equations that we have again. We have two quadratic equations. Obviously, you're going to have two roots and we want to have the same two roots for both equations. One of them is based on cosine of x and the other one is based on cosine of 2x. And remember, we can write cosine of 2x based on cosine of x using 2 times cosine squared of x minus 1. Now let's assume that m and n are the roots of the first equation. Now let's start with reviewing a few basic points. We know sum of roots can be written as minus 2 over 4 in this quadratic equation and product of roots can be written as minus 1 over 4 in this quadratic equation. Since m and n are roots, m plus n can be written as negative 2 over 4 and m times n can be written as minus 1 over 4. Now let's go back to equation number 2. We can use the same approach and write sum of roots as negative v over a. Here roots are cosine of 2x and remember we calculated cosine of 2x based on m and n. Some of them 
is going to be 2m squared minus 1 plus 2n squared minus 1. If we factor out 2, then we can write m squared plus n squared as m plus n to the power of 2 minus 2 times mn. And we already have values for m plus n and m times n. If we replace all those values and simplify everything, we are going to end up with b over a needs to be 1 over 2. Now product of roots needs to be ca. Product of roots here is going to be 2m squared minus 1 times 2n squared minus 1. If we apply the multiplication, we can write it as 4m squared n squared minus 2 times m squared plus n squared plus 1. Now mn to the power of 2 can be written as minus 1 over 4 to the power of 2 or 1 over 16. m2 plus n2 can be written as m plus n to the power of 2 minus 2 times mn. This can be simplified and written as 3 over 4. If we apply all the values, then c over a can be written as minus 1 over 4. Now we have two things to remember. We have b over a equals to 1 over 2, and we have c over a equals to negative 1 over 4. We need to construct an equation that satisfies these two things. If we want to do this, one possible approach is to use 4 for a, 2 for b, and negative 1 for c. So we can write the equation that we were looking for as 4 cosine squared of 2x plus 2 times cosine of 2x minus 1 equals to 0. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles, math involved activities, and problems from different math competitions and Olympiads, please kindly subscribe to this channel. This is the SQRT channel. Hope to see you in the next video.